Hi everyone. Do you remember when it was 2020 in the first lockdown and some of us took up some weird hobbies? Well, 2021 me found the footage of everything I decided to do with coffee. That's probably one of the worst things I've ever painted. So first was painting with coffee and next is making a coffee cake. And then here comes the trendy coffee. So one tablespoon of coffee, one tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of milk, and a whole lot of whisking later, <laughs> you get this frothy coffee that was a, very much a trend in 2020. Do you remember that? It makes me feel old. Now here's me pouring not nearly enough milk into the cup and serving up the coffee. It was still quite liquid, so I did end up putting more milk in, as you can see, and then stirring it. And I thought I'd show you the nice pattern the froth made on top of it. Now, the next one I cannot even advise against enough, and that was making a homemade face mask by using coffee and oil. It was very sticky, to say the least, and quite hard to manage to apply. I suppose the caffeine in the coffee is supposed to help with blemishes and dark circles, which is what I'm doing here. Or putting on stage freckles, maybe. I look like I have been rolling through the ground. I did wait a while leaving the face mask to work and then I couldn't wait to get it off my face. My face felt disgusting from all this. It's very sticky. Has my acne gone? Does my skin look better for it? My skin does feel less dry, although that was probably the oil that was <laughs> mixed in with the coffee grains. Now, do not put coffee on your plants unless it's specified. These are orchids and it's not for that. I would assume it's for plants that like an acidic soil. We definitely forgot one, which is just eating coffee raw. Yeah, don't do any of this. I'm just laughing at myself from 2021.